Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Deitra Tate. It's 548 and on Super Doppler 10, we have a cluster of rain sliding across northeastern North Carolina right now. Moderate to heavy rain moving away from Murfreesboro, just north of Ahoski, but will clip your area, kind of sliding towards Gatesville. A closer view here is just on the doorsteps of Winton, sitting on top of stories, some moderate activity in terms of rainfall, Sarim, just more of the lighter variety. But then we have some more heavier rain sitting over east and crossroads. And again, right now, Gatesville, you're primarily south of all of the activity, but we have more rain to your west. That's going to be sliding in. Parker's Fork, you're dealing with some moderate to heavy rain as well. Just updated there with the scan. So again, some heavy downpours in that area crossing over 32. And as you move away from Hoffler's Fork and work your way east, just south of South Mills, we have a stream of rain that's continuing to kind of drift towards the east. And some of this may be able to clip Kurtuck if it continues to develop and hold together. Aside from that, the reason for the rain is due to a cold front that's sliding into our area. And it's going to stall out as we work our way throughout the day as it attaches to this warm front to the west. So generally, that's going to serve as a trigger for scattered showers for our area. We're expecting more of a coverage through the afternoon for Hampton Roads. But through the morning, we're expecting the activity to continue into North Carolina. Eventually, the front's going to move a little bit further north as a warm front, which means you're going to continue with the warm and muggy setup for our Wednesday. Here's a view at 9 o'clock in the morning. We're in what we call the warm sector, so it's going to be a very mild night tonight. It's going to be very warm for tomorrow back in the 80s as this broad low slides east towards our area. Eventually it's going to bring the cold front with it and as that moves in for Wednesday afternoon we're expecting again scattered showers, maybe a storm or two, but severe weather not expected with this event and then eventually that'll shift towards the east allowing cooler weather to move in here as we head on into our Thursday time frame. So again we have to deal with a couple more days of unseasonably warm weather and it's also going to remain very warm and very muggy for the next couple of days. As far as the rainfall chances through the morning between 9 and midday we're just going to go with about a 30 percent coverage so not everyone getting wet. But there could be some more showers popping up in other places outside of North Carolina through midday. After that time frame, the heat of the day will also help in triggering showers along with the fact we have that frontal boundary that's going to stall in the area. So 3 o'clock, the coverage goes up to about a 40% chance. And then by 6 p.m., the rain coverage goes up to about a 60% chance. So don't forget the umbrella today. This morning, again, very warm, unseasonably warm for morning temperatures and for afternoon highs. Typically, our highs should be in the low 70s, and we're starting out this morning with temperatures near 80 in Norfolk at the airport. It's 75 in Franklin. We have 75 for Saluda, 76 for Wallops Island, and it's in the upper 70s this morning in Elizabeth City. And of course, it's very muggy, so when you factor that in, it makes it feel even hotter. Even at this hour, we have a heat index in Norfolk. It feels like it's 83 degrees with that humidity. Otherwise, though, we're expecting highs to reach the mid 80s today. We'll go with 84 for a high in Norfolk, 85 expected for Currituck, 87 for Williamsburg, and around 82 for Melfa. Again, carry the umbrella. Showers are expected throughout the day, and it's going to remain warm and muggy. A few more showers for Wednesday into early. Thursday. Other than that, though, we're looking at cooler weather to end the week, and your weekend looks good.